so you are getting your strength gains as well as the size gains even if you train with the resistance band What's up everyone, so in today's video, we are going to be looking into the similarities and differences between the most common training equipment that is the dumbbells and resistance band. So watch this video till the end to get to know about these equipment and which one to choose to start your fitness journey. So before we start, let's just know about what is a dumbbell and a resistance band. So dumbbell as we already know it, it is just a short bar which is attached with the weights at the ends. And with the dumbbells, you can always increase the resistance depending upon the weights that are attached to the bar. Whereas the resistance band which is also called as a stretching band, strength band or stretch band is nothing but a sheets or tubes of elastic material which is either natural or made from synthetic latex rubber. And these resistance bands come in different variants. They can either be in a straight form, in a tubular form or they come with the handles or in a loop form. And also this resistance band comes with different variants of resistance which starts from the least resistance to the heaviest resistance. So before we dive into the differences between the dumbbell and resistance band, let's see the similarities between them. So both of them provide a good amount of resistance to all the exercises which we perform. That's why they have the integral part in the resistance training. So both these dumbbells as well as the resistance band provide a free range of movement. So you are not restricted to train in any planes of motion with these dumbbells as well as the resistance band. In case of the machines, you are restricted by the hinges, so you cannot move in all planes while training with the machines. With both the dumbbell as well as the resistance band, we can change the speed with which we are performing the exercises. Which means that we can alter the tempo of the exercise to increase the time under tension of the muscles which are intended to work with the exercises. Progressive overload can be achieved with both the dumbbells as well as the resistance band. In case of the dumbbells, you can directly move onto the heavier weights or you can add more plates into your adjustable dumbbells. In case of the resistance band, either you can go for a heavier variant or you, you can increase the stretch which you are providing into the band or you can reduce the distance of the anchor point and the stretch point. Or else you can combine two or three resistance bands to increase the cumulative resistance with your training. Due to this lightweight and flimsy appearance of the resistance band, most of the people think that it won't help them to increase the strength and size of the muscles. But there are many studies which states that the peak tension provided by the resistance band training is almost equivalent to the weight training or the dumbbell training. And anyway, your muscles only sense the tension for the growth of the size and strength. So it doesn't know whether you are providing this tension using the dumbbells or with the resistance band. So you are getting your strength gains as well as the size gains even if you train with the resistance bands. Now let's see some of the key differences and advantages while training with resistance band and dumbbells or free weights. So the dumbbells provide resistance in the vertical plane with the assistance of the gravity. So for most of the exercises, we have to change our body position accordingly so that this resistance could be applied into our muscles. But in case of the resistance band, the resistance is not provided due to the gravity, but instead it is provided by the elastic material in the bands. So the further you stretch, the more resistance it will provide. And it's not restricted to only the vertical plane of motion. We can train in the different planes of motion and we can add a lot of functional and sport specific training with the resistance band as it can be anchored anywhere and the line of force with the resistance band can be changed easily. So due to this non-dependency of the gravity and the planes of motion for training with the resistance band, it is also used by most of the astronauts to do their workouts in the space. So now let's see the strength curve. In case of the strength curve, the resistance band follow a linear variable resistance, which means that as you pull more, the resistance in the band increases. So at the end ranges of the exercise, you will get a maximum resistance here, which naturally mimics the strength curve of our muscles. Whereas in case of the dumbbell, the resistance is fixed, which depends upon the weight of the dumbbell. So let's take a short example of bicep curls. So with the resistance band, you can see the resistance is lowest at the bottom region where the curl starts. And as you pull it further, you will see that the resistance in the band increases. So at the strongest point of the bicep curl, which is at the midway, you will feel a good resistance with the bands. Whereas in case of the dumbbells, the resistance will be highest at the lowest region where actually the bicep muscles are the weakest. So you are limited with the weights 
depending upon how strong your bicep muscles are at the starting phase of the bicep curl, which is actually the weakest point for the bicep muscles naturally. So here we have some advantage with the resistance band as it provides the maximum resistance at the strongest phase of the bicep curl where your bicep muscles are the strongest, thereby recruiting more muscle fibers for muscular development with the strength and size. So with the resistance band you cannot cheat with your reps or use momentum to finish your reps as the resistance is provided by the elasticity of the band here. So you have to stretch it further using your muscles only and not using your momentum to finish the reps. In case of the dumbbells you can swing it in the beginning if the weight is heavier and as it attains certain momentum you can easily lift it up. So whenever you will train with the resistance band you will see that it will require more core engagement and stability from your muscles. Since as the length of the resistance band increases, it will demand more stability from your muscles to stay there. And if you don't provide the stability, it will directly snap back and it might hurt you also. So it's necessary that even when the lowering phase of the exercises, you maintain the stability and come back in a slow and controlled manner. Whereas in case of the dumbbells, you can directly drop the weight during the lowering phase. So, so you can see here with the overhead press, in case of the dumbbells, you can directly drop down the weight. Whereas in case of the resistance band, you have to maintain that some activation of the core muscles and stability so that you lower down the band slowly and it doesn't snap on you. And even while training with the dumbbells, it's necessary to have core activation and stability. But with the resistance band, you can feel it more. So with the resistance band, you can do a lot of mobility and flexibility drills by anchoring it into a firm surface and then using it as a resistance to improve the range of motion of your muscles and joints. Even the dumbbells or free weights can be used to improve the mobility to some extent, but as it's acting only in a vertical plane, it is generally used as a weight assistance to improve your range. So if you consider the cost and portability of the different ranges of resistance with the free weights and the resistance band, the resistance band will always have an edge over these free weights or dumbbells. And also the risk of injuries is very low with the resistance band when compared with the dumbbell. So with the dumbbells you can know exactly the amount of weight which you are lifting. But in case of the resistance band, it depends a lot on the sense of awareness. Yes, the weights are written on the band, but it's the extreme stretch load which the band can handle. But when performing the exercises, which we might use a shorter stretch or we might not stretch the band to its extreme. So it depends a lot upon our sense of awareness while training with the resistance band. So even with the heavier band, you might feel the resistance similar to the band which was lighter if you are not stretching it properly. So it's necessary to be more aware while training with the resistance band to progressively overload it since we don't know the exact weight which we are lifting. So if you compare the longevity of the dumbbells and the resistance band, so if the dumbbells are made of the metals, then the dumbbells are a clear winner here. Since as we use the resistance band over a longer time, due to the elastic fatigue, the elasticity of the resistance band decreases. So even though the resistance of the band is written as 15 kg, over a span of usage, the elasticity of the band might reduce and it will provide you some less resistance when compared with the 15 kg when you started with that. And since it's made of the rubber, over a time span of usage, it might break also. Thanks for watching the video. I hope I gave you a lot of insights on resistance band and dumbbells here. But the motive of this video was not to undermine any of these. But depending upon your training strategy and routine, you can choose the dumbbells and resistance band accordingly. And don't be in a false idea that if you use resistance band, you will lose your strength gains. But according to the research, the peak tension provided by both of them are almost similar. So now you choose accordingly and you can also use the dumbbells and resistance band together to get a higher activation of muscle fibers and to hit the entire strength curve of your muscles. And if you are looking to train with me, then check out the supplestrength.com where we provide evidence-based workout as well as nutrition coaching, which incorporates both the dumbbell and resistance band training to enhance human performance. And we will meet in the next video. Till then, stay supple, stay strong.